A half a century ago this month, a sailor from Richmond's Fulton neighborhood sailed right into the history books. In his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Todd Haas introduced us to the determined man who broke many bar barriers on the high seas. I think he's neat. I think he looks nice. The images. And I think it's a nice picture. Are forever frozen in black and white. <laughs> but to Mrs. Alma Gravely. <laughs> you have a picture of the two of us. Memories of the man in uniform she loved remain in vivid color. I think he's a handsome guy. That was probably one of the reasons I married him. <laughs> Samuel Gravely Jr.'s U.S. Navy career spent three wars, four decades, and seven seas. I used to call him Sammy the Sailor. And nobody knew anything about him except Sammy the Sailor. On June 2nd, 1971, Alma's sailor would make his biggest splash. And that he just plain loved the Navy. 50 years ago this month, the Richmond native was promoted to admiral. I am most proud of the opportunity to have served my country. Many seamen before him would hold the rank, but this was the first time for an African-American. I was very happy for him because I, you know, I knew that uh, he had done the best he could. I knew from whence he came. Mrs. Gravely says while rising through the ranks, the admiral endured outright discrimination. The skipper got this message that they hear that the ship has a Negro officer aboard. He is to be informed that he cannot come to the officers' clubs. I would think that it, it hurt him and probably embarrassed him before the others. The 99-year-old says Rough Waters only made Samuel more determined. Very, very, very seriously. Gravely would sail into many more firsts. First to command a combatant ship, first to be promoted to flag rank, and first to command a naval fleet. Let's see, there were eight ships in that squadron, and I rode every one of them, sometime for a day, sometime for a week. In an interview with the Visionary Project about 20 years ago, Admiral Gravely did not boast about making history. It was a will to do it, and I didn't plan to fail. I had to do that to, to be successful. It just so happened that I was first, and other people would have been successful if they'd been first. As simple as that. I think he was a role model by being himself more than anything else. I believe there will always be new challenges, and I fully intend to pursue each opportunity to the maximum extent feasible. On July 31st, 1980, after 38 years, Admiral Gravely would drop anchor and retire. To me, the Navy has afforded the best of all possible worlds and I shall sorely miss it. I don't think he would have thought he would ever have a ship named after him. In the years since, the United States Navy has honored his legacy by christening the USS Samuel L. Gravely Jr. Yes. You can hear where it broke, where I broke it, when I hit the point of the, of the uh, bow. <laughs> what a career. What a role model. On the 50th anniversary of Gravely's promotion to Admiral, the Navy League paid tribute to their fellow sailors. <laughs> Attending the ceremony at the Virginia War Memorial on this day, I'm incredibly proud. Captain Corey Odom, skipper of the destroyer that bears the name of his idol. His primary goal was to be the best at what he did. Uh, it wasn't about race. It was it was about being the best naval officer. Captain Odom like says great. Admiral Gravely still inspires a half century later. I will do anything for this nation. I will do anything for this crew. I will do anything for this Navy. I am beyond proud to be the first black American to command a ship named after the first black admiral. Team Gravely, first to conquer. They always said, uh, we stand on his shoulders. All of the time. All of the time. Back in Haymarket, Alma Gravely's home serves as a time capsule of her husband's sterling career and life well lived. He was very, very persistent. In 2004, Mrs. Gravely's beloved husband and father of three suffered a stroke and died in 2004. He 
was 82 years old. Along Eisenhower Drive in Section 66 at Arlington National Cemetery, Gravely is forever at ease. That's what he did, you know. He was persistent. He kept going and going and going. The Mariner may no longer be sailing the world's oceans. I must tell you that the full impact of my leaving the Navy today has not as yet set in. But Admiral Samuel Lee Gravely Jr. leaves a lasting wake for others to follow. The old saying, sailors belong on ships and ships belong at sea, has always been my hallmark and matched my philosophy perfectly. Thank you and may God bless.